All right, I'm going to be working on his uh, face, her hand, and his scarf today, but not necessarily that order. Uh, but uh, let's get started on it. Time to play with some clay. I've got a photograph of uh, Chief Ironhorn, and he's wearing a scarf, and I just wanted to look at the knot on that scarf to uh, see how it would look. And that's what I'm working on right now. And uh, trying to, <laughs> trying not to screw up my clay here. Um, anyway, I'm just using anything I can find that gives me information on what something looks like. A lot of people wore scarves back in the uh, 1800s, and primarily because uh, they had to travel outside and out west, there was a lot of dust. It ain't like today where you got roads and uh, pavement. Back then they didn't have roads or pavement. And uh, that's uh, just the way it was. Put the stress lines in his scarf. I'm going to use a new tool I got, uh, which is a uh, MT-51 uh, Master. It's, you know, it's an MT-51. If you do a search on Amazon, you can find it. It's a butane lighter. And I want to take down the... Uh, I want to try to use it a little bit to smooth out different areas that I've just sculpted. And then I've got this uh, canned freezing air that uh, cools it off real quick so that I can work with it. Because if you don't cool it off right away, uh, you can't work with it for, for a while. I saw that on a Stan Winston video on sculpting uh, in their studio characters and uh, I thought it was a great idea so I ordered me uh, one of those uh, butane lighters. Now this is one of the first times I've used this method and I don't know if it'll work or not. If it doesn't, then I'll just uh, go back and try something different.
Okay, I'm going to try a, something on his beard. I'm going to put little nodules to indicate a bushy beard. And then I'll hit it with my flame and just see what that looks like. I'm just guessing that it might create some kind of a neat texture, but I don't know if it will or not. If it doesn't, I'll just uh, smooth it out and try something different. I kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to put a little Ronsonol on the uh, clay using a brush to uh, get some of the uh, nodules out of there and do the same with his face this uh material this uh ronsonol has a property in it that kind of melts the clay a little bit it actually looks like a scarf I think I'm, I'm just trying this to see if it, yeah, it does dry off that uh, Ronsonol quickly because if you don't, if you go right to sculpting on it right after you put the Ronsonol on, that uh, it will be too soft. And this is what I've been using, this super cold, and I get it from Amazon. It's not that expensive. It's a handy product. I've never used it until today. I bought that stuff almost a, <laughs> about a year and a half ago and never used it. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for today. I'll pick this up tomorrow. And, uh,. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Happy Valentine's Rose. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.